Hey there City Scouts enthusiasts, my name is Flybox and welcome back to another video. Let's start a new city. We are on the Arid Plains map. Arid Plains is a map from the Mass Transit DLC. Mass Transit, one of the best DLCs, if not the best DLCs of City Skylands, in my opinion. And Arid Plains is a map that is very near and dear to my heart. It is been, it has been the home of the very first City Skylands series here on my YouTube channel in Newton Valley. Highly recommend, do go check that out. It was on PlayStation 4 back in the day. Okay, so first thing we do is obviously we pause the in-game timer because as soon as we place down some road, the game will start to drain our funds, if not paused so we have this intersection that came with the map and that is obviously where we're going to start what i love about this starting tile is actually that the highway is elevated here and i remember on playstation 4 i had so much fun with this map there's a lot of buildable land we have a great river running directly through the map it's it's really well laid out and it's just very very fun to build so let's come in here in order to unlock more roads, we first take a stretch of road and we place it down. Cost of 40. We can delete this and look at that. We have unlocked the two lane one way road, which we can now use to start our city. But we always have to keep our budget. I uh, have to keep a close look on our budget. For the start, I thought we could do some industrial on the right side, some residential on the left side, of course. And it's going to be a tight squeeze in here. I wish this interchange would have been more to the left, but that's fine. We can work with that. I have an idea on how I want to start this. So first of all, we'll go out by, let's say, 30 units. Oh, I should hit the right button. All right. And the way we can measure that, obviously, is by... These blue lines, that is 10 units. See when the blue line appears right here, that's five units. There it is, there's a line, and 10 units, 20, 30, there we go. For the industrial area, what I always, always like to do is have an off ramp directly from the highway. So it will be like this, there we go. Actually, I do want to upgrade these to a one-way. There we go. And now, we just come in here and close that. What I want to do here, what I always want to do here, is have a dedicated exit. And don't worry about the looks. Um, as of now, we can then come in here and change that as we please. So another thing to note is here, to have the smoothest elevation step, you want to go out by 12 units. See again, the blue line. This is 10 units, 11, 12. See what happens when I go out one more. We get this super steep slope. So we want the 12 units and we'll connect back to the exit. So what we did here is you have direct access to the future industrial area from the highway, but also you have direct access to the highway from the industrial area, which is very, very good because that is a crucial tip to starting your city when you're on a budget like we are. You have to make sure that your industrial traffic is separated from your residential traffic, and that is exactly what we did here. All right, now we'll come in here with a, we'll do an oval about. I think an oval about would be pretty cool. So that's four spaces. We'll go up by another 15. It's going to be a tight squeeze, but I'm, I, I'm sure we can pull it off. I'm sure we can pull it off. Okay, we'll go up five units, five, and that's how we get the smooth curves. We can get the road guidelines to help us, obviously. Okay, we'll go up by 15 units. There we go. Go to the curve tool. That's a bit oversized, I think. I think we can get, I think we can get away with it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Is this too much? Is this too much? I think it's fine. It's a big oval about, an, an oval roundabout. Ooh, what I just realized what we can do now is, I want, we can come, if we come in at an angle here, we'll have an even smoother traffic flow. Very, very nice. Ooh, we could maybe take it out again. I have another idea. We could maybe curve it in there. Let me try this. <laughs> Go to the free form. Oh, that looks good. Plus, traffic flow, very, very good. Okay, as I said, tight squeeze, but I think it's it's fine. I think it's okay. So 
always upgrade the industrial area later as we go along. So now we'll start with the residential. So maybe we should maybe we should even go with an avenue here. Got to keep a close uh, eye on our budget for sure. Okay, I think that's pretty good. The good thing here is we can later, when we have more funds even, we can continue this stretch of roads here. We can make this in highway. We can make this all elevated with more funds. We can have it go over the oval roundabout or oval about and then basically just have a dedicated like off ramp as sort of a highway interchange here but we will also have us the highway going across the roundabout the oval about here making sure that traffic can just pass by if they don't want to get off here okay let's come in here with a basic uh grid for the residential area and again once time passes by we can then come in here and i think i want a roundabout here do we want another roundabout? I do think we want a roundabout. When in doubt, <laughs> roundabout. <laughs> All right. So how, where do we want to go, actually? See, that's that's how that's that's the amount of planning I put into this. I just I just wing it basically. <laughs> Uh, so basic grid for now, just to start to get us up and running. And this is going to be a vanilla tutorial, uh, all DLCs, but vanilla tutorial. Once we unlock the last milestone, maybe we can introduce some mods to the series. We'll see how everything goes. But for now, we'll keep this strictly vanilla. All right, water water let's go with some water our intake you have to put this upstream we'll just put it right here and the outflow the drain pipe we'll have to put it downstream obviously all the wastewater will then flow into this direction now if you have your pump on this side obviously the wastewater would be sucked up by the pump and pumped back into your city which would obviously not be good for the well-being of your citizens so connect everything with pipes okay there we go so let's oh that's actually turned out pretty good here okay for the industrial area as well and when you want to go out you want to watch out for the overlap see how the construction cost is 460 credits if we just plop this down look at that there's hardly any overlap which will save money in the long run for sure. Okay, we'll add some power. Hopefully we can get away with one. There we go. So we just plopped down one wind turbine, but we'll power both the pump and the drain, which is pretty good. One of these bad boys is 19,000. We can definitely plop one of those into the industrial area right about here, I think would be good. We'll get all this power. And then we just have to connect to our power grid. We'll just go in here. There we go. That seems pretty good. We'll start off here. Uh, we are done. We are done. We took care of water, power for the water supply. We took care of the piping. We have the pipes in place. I guess we could... Mm, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for now. We took care of power. We have power for the city here with the coal power plant. Very nice. We still have 6,000 credits. So when we hit play, we will lose money, but that's fine for now. So let's come in here with some zoning. Actually, no. We'll first only zone the part that is connected to the power. Uh, let's hit play. We should be good. Let's see. All right. Let's put it on three speed. Oh, no, never mind. Let's leave it on one speed. The first house is spawning in, which is really, really good. We can, we can, we can zone some more. We can zone some more. All right. Soon the industrial demand will creep up. Also, the citizens will want a place to shop, which I totally understand. I love to go shopping. Oh, by the way, the town is called Riverton. Obviously, a very boring name, <laughs> inspired by the river, of course. Uh, maybe it's a placeholder. I don't know. It could be a Riverton 
or we could call it something else. I don't know. Leave, leave me a comment in the comment section below if you want to suggest a name for this new city. So this is the how to start your city, of course, but I plan to make this into a series, as I said, without mods, vanilla. But as soon as we reach some of the mile, uh, if we reach the last milestone, then we can maybe introduce some mods later on. Uh, especially the 81 tiles mo mod so we can unlock the entire map and maybe some of the essential mods you know you got your move it your, your tmpe all the essential mods basically node controller is a good one to make your city look even nicer so yeah okay let's let's go ahead and and add some shops as well let's zone some industry we don't even need, need it right now there we go. We're still losing money. Citizens are not happy yet. But don't worry. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, I think we can we can just like zone this entire block here. Maybe this one too. We have quite the demand. Quite the demand. Uh, let's put it on three speed. Okay, and you see the red number, our budget, which is in the negative right now, but the number is it's rising. Like it's it's rising. See that? We're we're already starting to make money. As soon as we're in the green, we are good to go. And oh, industry. Industry spawning in. We need some more shops. The industrial uh, workers obviously also want a place to lunch, maybe. Let's get some more industry going in here. Oh, the oval about looks really cool. I like it. I like it. Hello, citizens of Riverton. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy your stay. Enjoy your stay. All right, so for here, what I want to do is see how I'm zoning this. First of all, the biggest number, the biggest building that can spawn in the game is a four by four tile. All right, still high industrial demand. I think we need to, oh, well, we can't uh, place down roads. Don't have enough funds yet, so we'll have to do this. It's a very small area on the right side. Let's zone this. How's the demand? Pretty good. We still need industry. Well, we have some more space in here. That's, uh, that's okay. We'll just plop this down here. Looking very good. Looking very good. We're going to be up and running really, really soon. We're still on three speed. Perfect. Perfect. Ah. Aha. Piping. Not good. Forgot to put the pipes here, but that's okay. That's okay. We're already in the green. We're up and running. We're making money. We need more people, though. We can still zone here. We can zone some more shops in here. And uh, you just hang on. You'll get your you'll get your pipes soon. You'll get water very very soon. Very soon. We're up and running. Come on, come on now. <laughs> we got this. Also, we're very close to unlocking the first milestone, which is pretty cool. We'll get a cash boost, and then there we go, little Hamlet. We also have taxes as a new feature. Loans, we need to place down the garbage, healthcare, education, and these are the buildings that we've unlocked. Very, very cool. The next milestone is Worthy Village at a thousand residents. All right, the game automatically puts it on one speed. What I like to do after reaching a milestone is just pausing the game to assess my situation. Okay, let's do this. All right, so let's go into the economy tab. Taxes, by default, the taxes are set to nine. I found that once you set it to 12, it will be good without the residents complaining. If you set it higher, the citizens will complain and then they will leave your city, which affects the demand. And we also have loans. We're going to take a loan right away. We also, we already got a slight cash boost here, a slight cash, bo cash boost, it's like 20,000 credits. We're gonna take another loan, there we go. And now uh, we need to think about garbage. Right here, garbage, <laughs> healthcare, and schools. Not right now. I think garbage is one that we need to put in right away. Let's um, pave the way for that, actually. Just add a road right here, and we can put a garbage dump right in here. Perfect. Let's do that. And now, the, edu the healthcare and the education, we can wait a bit. I clicked on airport roads. I, didn't, I was like, wait, where's my avenue? Where's my... <laughs> Where's my avenue? All right, let's add this right here. 
Okay, now let's try and come in here and maybe we can do something a bit more interesting here. Maybe we can introduce a curved road. Wait, I need the guidelines back on. Road guidelines, sometimes a curse, sometimes a blessing. That's what I thought, so we'll do this. Straight road, we'll introduce some curves, uh, break up the grid, and um, that just makes for a bit of a nicer layout overall. Okay, perfect. Obviously, you can also do something like this with the roads just to break up the grid. Perfect. There we go. All right, this looks pretty good, actually. This looks really good. All right, we have demand. Let's uh, zone. I think we should also uh, unpause the game. <laughs> All right. How's the water situation here? Still okay. It's good. We can go up here for 60 to get that perfect overlap. Very, very nice. Once you got this, once you got this start done, uh, you're good to go. You're basically, we're, we're, we're up and running. We're good to go. Nothing can stop us now. We're on top of the world. Uh, what I also wanted to note is the landfill doesn't need any water. You don't have to put water or electricity uh, for it to work. It's operating fine. And since I have the content creator pack cars, I want the random trucks. Look at all those cool trucks. Let's go. Okay, we can think about, definitely think about expanding the industrial area. When can we unlock, do, can we unlock tiles? No, not yet. Oh, we can unlock a new area with the next milestone. I think we should immediately get this one which is uh, the right side of our starting area here, so just so we can upgrade this industrial area. But for now, let's just go out to here. Mm, how do I want to do this? Maybe like this, I have like a, a grid of this general shape in here, so we can then see break up the grid. Also, we'll find this segment right here. To have some consistency in there. Okay, let's do this. Let's add some shops in here, actually. Also, I think I may want to upgrade this road to a avenue as well. Yeah. That makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, perfect. We are up and running, everybody. Very, very nice. I think we should go to the next milestone and then call it an episode. And next time we can work on expanding the area even more and I'll give you some more tips and tricks on the game. But for now, let's see if we can, which, what was it, what was it again? A thousand, I think we can reach a thousand citizens. Not a problem. We need, wow, we need some, uh, we need some industry. <laughs> let's go, do we have, oh, we don't even have any walking paths. I just love to break up grids with these sort of things. I usually like to use walking paths for that, but um, not unlocked yet. <laughs> not unlocked yet. All right, I do want to continue this road at some point. Yeah, that's good. That is good. Can I please delete that? <laughs> this make this even more curved which i think is really cool yeah that's way more curved than this we can pause the game and oh not yet these oh we can let's pause the game let's take this out and uh oh yeah that looks much better Okay, so obviously if you want to change the direction of the one way, you click the upgrade button, upgrade road, and then just right click and it changes the direction. All right, nice. And as I said, the good thing is later on, oh, see, look at that. Truck is uh, taking the shortcut here, pretty cool. Later on, we can maybe have this elevated, go over the opal about, so it won't disturb any of the traffic and that will be very, very good. Sorry, I had to break your house there. <laughs> I always hate doing that, uh, but but it's like very necessary, so. 
you can also do at times is just have like a crooked road in between, like on purpose, just to break up the grid, to make it look even better, or make it look like there's more variety. I think variety is the spice of life. So I wonder if we should have a one-way road here. Oh, not like that. <laughs> Our square we can turn this into a small park at some point once we unlock all the necessities okay Ooh. uh tip when you start a city don't forget your water pipes as i usually do okay there we go okay time for some health care we need some health care soon put a doctor's office in here and school oh we ran out of money oh wow Oh, let's put it on three speed. We do need more people, more taxpayers to get us money. Boom, 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 boom. Well, not, oh well, yeah, let's go. I have, actually, that, that, let's just go. Let's just zone, zone galore. Let's zone galore. Sure, let's put shops here. Perfect. Do we need some more shops here? Maybe in this area. All right, cool. And we'll soon have that milestone. 1,000 residents. There we go. Almost 900. People love Riverton so far. I am happy to be on Ard Plains again, not gonna lie. Uh, this is super cool. This is so good. <clears throat> Such a fun map. A good map for beginners as well. Really good. In my opinion. Wait, you need water too? Oh lord, what have I done? Put it on one speed. We don't want to agitate anybody. There we go. Get some decent coverage of the water. Uh, and let's... Uh, more industry. More industry. And the old about is working like a charm. You like to see it. And I don't... I'm not a fan of the parking here. Honestly. <laughs> Worthy village. Look at that. Very, very nice. We have a new area. Districts, policies, second loan. Specializations, service policies. We have fire department, police department. We need to put those down immediately. The citizens will crave those. We have new specializations for commercial residential. New policies are right here. And these are the new buildings, police station, firehouse. We also got that cash boost. Let's pause the game. Economy we can take out this loan. Now look at that. Take out this loan. Then we'll pay the 16,000. We'll take out 20,000 and we upped our budget just like that. Very, very nice. Okay, but I think that is uh, going to be it. Let's just hit play right here so we can have a nice view. And um, oh, that looks so nice. The city looks so good. I think this will be it for the first episode. How to start your city. We are back at it with the tutorial videos and uh, a new start Riverton on Ard Plains. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any name suggestions for the city. I'd very much like to read all of your suggestions. Thank you so much for watching. If you can't get enough of my tips, I highly recommend you check out this video right over here. Thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next episode. Stay safe out there and bye-bye.